Mbappe is one of the most promising players of our generation, and it is no question he grew up idolizing Cristiano Ronaldo, who at his age already won three Premier League trophies, one Champions League, and one Ballon d'Or. So for that reason, today we are going to be giving Kylian Mbappe Cristiano Ronaldo's career to see if he can live up to the hype. But for season one, Mbappe will be starting as an 18-year-old wonder kid at Portuguese club Sporting Lisbon, where he would not see much playing time due to having a lack of experience. But with the playing time he would receive, Mbappe would score three goals in his first season, showing signs he could become one of the greatest players players in the world. Mbappe would also receive a huge opportunity to showcase his talents in a friendly against English club Manchester United. He would make the most of this opportunity and showcase his ability by scoring one goal and having an assist as well. Having this amazing performance at such a young age would make Manchester United have interest in signing Mbappe in the next transfer window. And in season two, Manchester United would do just that, signing Mbappe for a transfer fee of 20 million euros. And in his first season with the club, Mbappe would see much more playing time and he would score 10 goals in his first season. But come up short in the league to Man City and get eliminated in the Champions League in the round of 16 to Bayern Munich, but he will see a great chance at his first trophy in the FA Cup final against Chelsea in a penalty shootout. All right, a penalty shootout for Mbappe's first trophy for the FA Cup final. Come on, Mbappe. Do something good here, Mbappe. We need this, Mbappe. Yes, he slots it home. Honestly, we need a save. A save early would be amazing, and Sterling gets it, man. He gets it. Marcus Rashford will step up to take the second penalty for Manchester United. I'm going top right. We're going top right. We're going top right. We're going top right, and he slots it home. What a penalty. We need a stop here. We need a stop. Oh, my gosh. Oh, he went straight down the middle. Bruno Fernandes has a crazy penalty run up. Oh, my gosh. The goalkeeper almost saved it. A save right here would be great. A save right here would be great, and Onana does it. Okay, Harry Maguire, I don't know how good you are at penalties, but we just have to try. We honestly just have to try. Uh, he got it. He got it. We'll take it. We'll take it. Okay, we need to save this, and I think we win. I think. I think. Oh, my gosh. No. No. If Casemiro makes this penalty right here, Mbappe will win his first FA Cup and the first trophy of his career. Come on, Casemiro. Come on, Casemiro. Come on, Casemiro. Yes, he does it. He does it. Mbappe has won the FA Cup. In his second season, he wins the FA Cup. Oh my gosh. This is a great start to his Manchester United career. To start season three, Mbappe would train the whole offseason in order to solidify himself in the starting 11, and he did just that. Securing the starting 11 role helped Mbappe have his best season by far scoring 25 goals and getting five assists this new role would also help Mbappe win his first Premier League but this would be the only success of season three in Mbappe's career because they would lose in the FA Cup semi-final to Arsenal and get knocked out the Champions League once again in the round of 16 but this time it was to Lionel Messi and Barcelona where Messi would go on to win his first Ballon d'Or this season in season four Manchester United would make some changes they would go on to sign Brazilian superstar Neymar Jr. in the hopes of making a run for the trouble with this partnership form Mbappe and Neymar would run through the Premier League with ease Mbappe would score 30 goals and assist five of them to his partner in crime Neymar who would score 20 goals. This duo would help Manchester United win the Premier League once again, win the FA Cup and make it to the Champions League final facing off against Lionel Messi's FC Barcelona where Barcelona would not come this far to play around and they would create a chance early. Oh no, this is not good. This is not good. No, 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 no. Stop it. Oh my gosh. Oh no, no. What a save. Seeing Barcelona create chances of their own motivated Mbappe to use his speed to his advantage. Oh my gosh. Mbappe is through. Oh my gosh. Use your speed. Use your speed. Use your speed. Come on. Shoot Mbappe. Let's go, Mbappe. Let's go. 1-0 in the Champions League final. Let's go, Mbappe. Celebrate with Neymar. Yes. Having a 1-0 lead was not enough for Mbappe, so he would look to increase the lead. Mbappe, you have the ball at the midfield. Pick it up. Pass it to Neymar. Yes. Yes. Neymar, Brazilian magic. Back heel. Back heel. Yes. Yes. Oh, my gosh. No. At this point in the game, Barcelona could not touch the ball even if they tried. And the magical duo of Neymar and Mbappe would be at full display. Neymar, we need some Brazilian magic. We need some Brazilian magic. Oh my gosh. Neymar just beat a defender. He passes it into Mbappe. Mbappe, come on, Mbappe. Yes, Mbappe. Come on. Neymar and Mbappe link up for another goal. Amazing stuff, Mbappe and Neymar. After the brace by Mbappe, Barcelona would lose all composure and see zero chances at goal, meaning the match would now come to an end. And that is game right there. Mbappe has won his first Champions League with the help of Neymar. This is the second trophy added to Mbappe's cabinet and the first champion. Champions League, man. We'll take it. Having an outstanding season and winning the trouble meant that Mbappe would win his first Ballon d'Or, officially starting the greatest rivalry in football.
basketball history. In season five, Mbappe would use the momentum from the prior season and being given the green light from the Manchester United board to become the main man of the team, he would go on to score 40 goals and get seven assists to win the Premier League once again. This time around, they would face Real Madrid led by Vinicius Jr. in the UCL final for a chance to win his second Champions League trophy. And seeking to go back to back, Mbappe would see a great chance. Mbappe, you're through. Oh my gosh, Mbappe's through on goal. Oh my gosh, Mbappe. Oh my gosh, Mbappe. Oh my gosh, Mbappe, shoot! Oh my god, he hit the post. What the heck, Mbappe? Not so long after creating his first chance, Mbappe would create another in just a matter of moments. Oh my gosh, Mbappe, you're, you have another chance, Mbappe. You have another chance, Mbappe. Good stuff, man. Good finish. What a finish. Although the match would end 1-0 at halftime, not much would go on in the second half of the game. After all, this is a UCL final, so both teams would be evenly matched. However, in the dying moments of the game, Real Madrid would see an opportunity to pounce. This might be a last attack for Real Madrid, bro we cannot let them get anything here nothing here nothing here yep yep good defense good defense. oh no no stop it stop it no what no sadly this game is going into extra time and manchester united either felt fatigued or real madrid must have had unlimited motivation because they would try to strike early in extra time okay we cannot let them score here we cannot let them score here no no way oh my god what a save oh no nah, no nah, dude this is crazy bro they're getting good chances although real madrid were creating chances mbappe's desire to go back to back in the champions league would overtake and he would try to put the nail in the coffin no bro no we cannot send this game into penalties okay mbappe 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 let's go mbappe 120th minute winner is insane it's actually insane there's no way mbappe just found space to do that and that is game time mbappe has won his second champions league with 120th minute winner bruno fernandez is now lifting mbappe's second ucl what a sight to see with another great season meant that mbappe would win his second Ballon d'Or. And having an amazing UCL Finals performance meant that the Spanish Giants Real Madrid would show interest in signing Mbappe in the next transfer window. So in Season 6, Mbappe would accept the offer from Real Madrid and sign for a record transfer fee of 120 million euros. And with the help of Vinicius Jr., Rodrigo, and Jude Bellingham, Mbappe would go on to dominate Spain scoring a whopping 45 goals. Obviously, winning La Liga and knocking out Atletico Madrid, Manchester City, and Chelsea on the road to the UCL Final, facing off against Lionel Messi and Barcelona once again. But unfortunately, Messi would ruin Mbappe's debut season in Spain by scoring a hat-trick in the UCL final, meaning Real Madrid would come up short and Messi would go on to win his second Ballon d'Or, making the rivalry even at 2-2. Last season's results would hurt Mbappe so much that for season 7, he would go on a tear, scoring 50 goals to help Real Madrid win the league and the Copa del Rey. And luckily for Mbappe, his rival Messi was injured for the whole season, meaning in order to complete the run for the trouble, he would have to play against Cristiano Ronaldo's Bayern Munich in another penalty shootout for the trophy. A penalty shootout for the trouble, man. Let's see what we can do. Mbappe will step up to take the first one. He's going to a signature spot and he misses. Oh my gosh. No, no. Oh my gosh. Kane synced it. Oh my God. This is not good. Okay, we're fine. We're fine. Rodrigo, we just need you to make this, bro. We need you to make this. Good penalty, Rodrigo. Good. We need a save since Mbappe missed. And we have Ronaldo stepping up to take it and he misses. Both of the star players missed. Okay, Vinny, 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 Vinny. We need this. Vinny, we need this. Vinny, we need this. Good, Vinny. Good stuff. Okay, Serge Gnabry. Serge Gnabry. Come on, we need a save here oh he just went the other way okay this is a crazy penalty shootout jude bellingham will take the fourth one for real madrid i think we have to keep going right i think we have to keep going right the keeper is not diving that way okay kimmich man kimmich kimmich i'm staying middle i'm staying middle i'm staying middle what like that weak penalty just like worked what, what is going on frederico valverde will step up to take the fifth one he cannot miss Oh my gosh, thank you, man. Thank you. All right, if Lunin saves this right here, Mbappe will win the treble even though he missed his penalty. If Lunin saves this, Mbappe will be a treble winner, and he is. Oh my gosh, let's go. Mbappe is lifting his third UCL trophy right now. What a sight to see. Winning his second treble of his career helped Mbappe win his third Ballon d'Or. But in season eight, due to Vinicius Jr.'s departure, Real Madrid will sign Norwegian striker Erling Haaland. This meant that Mbappe would now have to move out wide, but that would not be a problem at all because Mbappe would score 50 goals once again. But this would not matter at all because the media would give Holland all the attention despite him only scoring 40 goals in his debut season. Although Mbappe would not be happy about this, Real Madrid would still reach the Champions League final against North London's Arsenal, where Mbappe would put his pride to the side and help his team open up the scoring early. We need to pounce on this counterattack. Mbappe, you are through right now. Oh my gosh. Mbappe, use your pace. He beats one. Mbappe. Mbappe's cutting in. Mbappe! Let's go! Good stuff, Mbappe. That was early on in the game, too. I really did not expect him to make that from that angle. I'm being serious. Oh my gosh. Although Mbappe opened
open up the scoring early. Arsenal would show Real Madrid why they reached the UCL final. We're not good. We're not good here. We're not good here. No, no, no way. Are you serious? Did the ball really just bounce to him like that? Yo, that is actually insane. I actually had the ball and then it just like bounced to him or something. I really don't know what just happened. After Arsenal's breakthrough, the match will stay tied at 1-1. Real Madrid were getting chances, but they simply just could not convert, which meant that this match was going into extra time. Well, it looks like we're going into extra time once again in the Champions League final. I mean, it's the Champions League final. I feel like you should expect extra time at least. Although this match was in extra time, Mbappe would do everything in his power to help Real Madrid take the lead. Straight out of the halftime? Straight out of the half? Oh my gosh, wait. Wait, 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 Mbappe, yes! Yes, Mbappe! Amazing finish, amazing dribbling, just amazing everything, bro. Literally amazing everything. Arsenal would try their hardest to fight back, but they just could not get the ball in Real Madrid's net. But in the dying moments of the game, Real Madrid will see a chance at goal. Like, dude, you guys are down a goal. Wait, 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 we have a chance. Wait, wait, Sh strike it. Wow, that was a horrible shot. That was literally horrible. But missing that chance didn't matter at all because Mbappe is now lifting his fourth UCL trophy. And he had a brace in the final. Mbappe is up to form right now. Although Mbappe would win his fourth UCL, he would come up short in the Ballon d'Or race to his teammate Erling Haaland. And this would not sit right with Mbappe due to him having a better season individually. And he would come out in the media and request a transfer. This now leads us into season nine where Mbappe would make a last minute transfer to Italy signing for Juventus FC. With the Juventus not having star players, this would open up the floodgates for Mbappe and he would have his best season by far scoring 60 goals and helping Juventus win the league and qualify for next year's Champions League. However, missing out on a major trophy like the UCL can really hurt your chances at the Ballon d'Or. And Messi would go on to win his third Ballon d'Or, making the race all tied up at 3-3. So that meant in season 10, Mbappe would use Messi as his motivation and go as hard as he can. He was on pace to have a Ballon d'Or winning season, but he would end up taking a big hit in the group stages of the Champions League and be declared injured for the rest of the season. Missing out on every trophy possible and coming up short to Messi once again, who would make it 4-3 in the Ballon d'Or race. Which now leads us into season 11, where Mbappe would lose all hope in Juventus due to the fact they were not signing any major players to help him out in his triumph to victory. With his morale being at an all-time low, Mbappe would only score 30 goals and get knocked out of every major competition possible, and this would mean that Messi would win his fifth Ballon d'Or, making the race set at 5-3. This meant that in season 12, Mbappe would shock the world and return back to England and make his return to Manchester United. Mbappe would finally feel at home once again and return back to his original form, scoring goal after goal after goal. However, Manchester United's manager, Eric Ten Hag, would become jealous of Mbappe because he did not want Mbappe to think he was bigger than the club, and this meant that Ten Hag would bench Mbappe on many occasions. And Mbappe would not like this at all because all he wanted to do was play the sport he loved. So he would come out in the press and claim he felt betrayed by Manchester United. And this ultimately would lead the Manchester United board to terminate his contract. Due to Mbappe getting older and nearing the end of his professional career, not many clubs wanted to sign him. But in the end, Mbappe would sign for Saudi Arabian club Al Nassar for a record transfer fee of 500 million euros. Mbappe would end up being the top scorer of the season, scoring 70 goals. But ultimately, it would get overlooked due to the lack of competition in Saudi Arabia. But it is safe to say if Mbappe was given Ronaldo's career, he would have a pretty successful career, winning a grand total of four Champions League and three Ballon d'Ors. But he would still fall short and not live up to the hype Cristiano Ronaldo did. If you guys did enjoy this video, make sure you hit that subscribe button. We're on the road to 2,000 subscribers. And if you would like to see what would happen if Messi switched teams every season, click the video on your screen.